Hey everyone, welcome to 32D Linden Street. We are in the heart of Wellesley Center. You are roll out of bed to the train, to Roach Brothers, to Starbucks, to Sweet Greens, to my office at Relage Properties, and to the cheese shop. Great location if you are just moving into town and don't want to give up your urban feel yet, this is a great spot. And if you're downsizing but want to keep a footprint in Wellesley, also a great spot. Uh, the condo complex started with the original building in the front in the 1960s. They were made into condos in 1980. There are a total of six units. They are currently all owner-occupied. I'm going to answer some of the basic questions I always get first. There are two deeded parking spaces. They are outside. Yes, you can have a grill. Um, they are managed, uh, self-managed, so everybody in the condo association does work together in the management of the building. I understand it's a very collegial group. I've sold one before and I can tell you a lot of very nice people here. Um, this unit is six rooms, three bedrooms, two full baths for a total of 1620 square feet. So why don't we go inside and we'll take a look. We've got hardwood floors throughout and you walk into really a lovely open floor plan. Uh, these current owners put in a large amount of recessed light, so the light in here is great. You've got beautiful uh, bookcases built in which stay, and a really nice open and airy feeling. Um, great size table that you can fit, and the kitchen is really quite great. It's gas cooking, it's also gas heat. Um, there is also a fisher pakel dishwasher, two drawers, which I really love. I live alone and I love the idea that you can do a small uh, load, run the dishwasher and wait until you know you want to do the next load later, which is great. This countertop is a main slate. It is absolutely gorgeous. These owners picked it out and durable and really quite beautiful and unique. So a nice size kitchen, perfect for operating, lots of great storage space and really beautifully connected to the rest of the house. Lots of built-ins on this side. Always an issue, issue in condo living. You want to make sure you've got tons of storage space. And we'll go to the basement last. You're going to be amazed at how much storage is there, which I really appreciate. But again, lots of easy access to get to things here. While we're here, why don't we go out? I know one of the issues a lot of people have with condos is whether or not you can have a grill. You don't necessarily want to give up that cooking easily. Whoops. You are allowed to here. And just as a surprise, you've got an amazing hot tub, which they love. There is a new cover on order, um, but really great space here and uh, a delightful condo unit. One of the deeded parking spaces I mentioned too, one is on this side of the house and the other is on the other. There's also plenty of guest parking. So for a lot of condos that we see in Wellesley, this would really be it for your living space on the first floor. But we have an extra room here. I love this den, could be, yeah, let's just, while we're here, I don't want to stop. Lots of great closets, so great front hall closets. All of the closets have been outfitted, which is really nice. But this room is a lovely either den. You've got a great fireplace, wood burning, built-ins, plenty of space for your TV. It could be a first floor bedroom if you wanted to make those into uh, more closets. It could also be, as we all need now, a great first floor home office or an extra office or a place for your college kid to spend the day while they're not going back to school. Not that we have any experience with that in my house. If you are using this as a bedroom or overflow company, one of the really nice things about this particular new unit is you have a first floor full bathroom here. I'll let you go in and take a look, Jackson. So great stall shower. And this is so nice that people don't have to run upstairs if you've got company down here spending the night. We're gonna go upstairs now, and this is one of those things that a lot of people don't really think about. But again, in a condo, one of the things I love is you have a turn staircase here. So many times you just go straight up these flight of stairs. I don't know, this is just more elegant. Little thing that I really admire and love about this unit. You get to the top of the stairs, you've got a nice linen closet. Very deep, you can fit all the things you want, and you've got three bedrooms here. Why don't we start with the master? You've got two nice closets. It's all wall to wall in the bedrooms, which is where most people like them. So again, a nicely outfitted master bedroom. And this size is 15 by 12. As you can see, additional recessed lights, reading lights above the bed. Plenty of room for a king size bed, and you can fit two nice size end tables. 
And then if that walk-in closet space wasn't enough, you've got extra here. Nice molding, not bad for the 1980s. You don't always see that. And then we'll go into the two smaller bedrooms. So this bedroom is the smallest, a 10 by 13. All of the bedrooms have at least one window. Again, this is the smallest. Nice outfitted closet. This full bath services all of the three bedrooms. It has radiant heat and is really nicely updated. And then the third bedroom, which is 11 by 15, and again, has a nice small walk-in closet, but a walk-in closet nonetheless. And I don't know if you're seeing this, but tons of recessed lights. That's really a big thing for me. We're going to go downstairs now, down to the basement, and I'll just give you a couple of little things. I don't know, do you want to, why don't we just videotape when we get down there, and I'll give you some of the fun facts. As we're walking down to the basement, I just want to point out this great shelving unit. So if you've got some overflow things for the kitchen that you don't want to have to go all the way down to the basement, not that it's that far, I love this, either for extra pots and pans or pantry items. Great idea to have this. Okay, I don't usually spend a lot of time in the basements on my videos, but this basement is really something. First of all, tons of space, and let's just point out that the furnace and HVAC was new in 2014. Uh, the hot water heater was replaced a few years after that. You've got an almost brand new washer and dryer, careful, <laughs> which is staying. And then, hello, this is like a basement of my dreams. Incredible shelving right here. If you're downsizing, you'll hardly have to get rid of anything. Uh, you've got a sump pump just in case. Uh, there's a high water level. Uh, you don't have to worry about any water in the basement. They've not had any issues. This is, this is a basement worth videotaping. All right, we're gonna head back up. Thanks again for coming on this tour with me at 32D Linden Street. Just to summarize some of our fun facts, six rooms, three bedrooms, two full baths, basement of your dreams with tons of storage, two deeded parking spaces with plenty of extra for your company, walk to everything, Tra town, train, um, Wellesley College, Lake Wabin, a perfect in-town location. You've got a deck here where you can grill or get into your hot tub, and you are allowed to have pets here. It's all currently owner-occupied, and we look forward to giving you a private tour. Jackson's gonna put my phone number right here, and maybe my email right here. So be in contact, and I'd love to give you a private showing. Thanks so much.